missing so that people know. But, but something I wanted to point, to draw attention to here, guys, is uh, this works just fine. But observe, right? And re refactoring of code, we'll probably only discuss this once we look at procedures. But if, if, you, if you analyze our program, especially starting from line 66, 67, 74, 75, 82, 83, 1991, 98, 99. Have you noticed something here? They are the same things, right? So instead of you doing things over and over again, why can't we say, let's take advantage of unconditional branching and say we are going to create a label code label exit where we shall have this v010 and cisco and everywhere where we have this stuff we'll just say branch to right i mean uh, you're cutting down observe right we had like 126 lines of code but there we go I was just trying to showcase because we, we've, we've, only, we've just been discussing conditional branching. I sat, I sat here and I'm thinking, let's look at an example that uses unconditional branching so that people understand like different, uh, I mean, how you could potentially use this thing here, right? Is that fine? <clears throat> Actually, you can even do this here as well in the main. So now we have 118, and then we can just run this and um, 4D, right? We exit without a problem. 